What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys a Galaxy S9 themes video. A lot of people have been asking me how to turn your Galaxy S9 into a Pixel, Pixel 2 type theme. And I actually had a video where I showed off the Android P launcher running on the Galaxy S9. So today I wanna to talk about the things you can do to make your Galaxy S9 look more like a stock Pixel phone. So as you guys can see, first thing that you need to do is get the Pixel launcher. Now there are a couple of different options. I'm running the Pixel 2 launcher that came out last year. It's actually a modified version. It's this Launcher 3 AOSP Optimize APK. I'll drop the link below. Another option is you could use the Android P Pixel Launcher, which is down here. I'll drop a link to that as well. The real problem with that one is it doesn't have the Google Now integration. This APK that I'm using does have Google Now integration, so if you swipe over, you automatically get your Google Now feed, which is great. You've also, of course, got your next event here at the top, the At a Glance widget, which is really nice. If you long press and go to home screen settings, you can change a few things, play around with notification dots. You can turn off the add icon to home screen, which I really don't like that option on there. You can choose to not display the Google app if you don't want it there on the left side. You can also change the icon pack, and that's actually a really big advantage to this optimized APK. It's modified, so you get a custom icon pack, and I really like that. I'll talk more about that at the very end. Now, once you actually install the APK, you will need to grant some permissions, allow it to install from unknown sources. So when you download the APK that I link in the description, just accept the, un the uh, install from unknown sources, and then it'll go ahead and install this uh, launcher for you. There are a few things that you'll wanna do after you actually install the launcher. The first one is when you long press down here, you'll notice the wallpapers right here. In order to actually access the Google wallpaper app, you need to install it from the Play Store. You see now when I tap on that, it automatically opens up the app. This is actually an app in the Play Store. It's from Google, it's their wallpapers app. You wanna go ahead and download that. Again, I'll drop the link below. And then when you long press, you'll get Google's wallpaper picker. It also includes a bunch of things from maps like seascapes, landscapes, etc. You get all of those at access and you can also access your own photos. Currently, I'm using a wallpaper from Backdrops, which you guys know is one of my favorite wallpaper apps. And again, I'll link that below if anyone wants it. The next thing to do is make sure you're using the Google Dialer. So if you want a stock experience, you probably want to use the default Google Dialer that comes on the Pixel phone. You can actually grab this APK as well. I'll have it linked below. Google Phone 8.0 Patched APK. So again, I'll put that in the description. Just opens up this stock dialer. You can put that on your home screen and then make all of your calls with the stock Google Phone app. The next thing is Android Messages. And you can actually get Android Messages just directly uh, from the actual Play Store. So if you go and type in Android Messages, you can download that directly. You don't need to install any APKs from the description. And then you can set that as your default messaging app. So if you go up into Settings, and then you go to Apps, you hit the three-dot menu here in the top right, go to Default Apps, and then set your default browser. You'll wanna set that to Chrome if you want the stock Pixel experience. Calling app, make sure you've got the Google Phone APK that we talked about before. Messaging app, Android Messages, the other messages there is the Samsung Stop Messenger. If you wanna use that, you can. Uh, and then of course, this is also where you can set the Pixel Launcher as your default home screen instead of Samsung Experience if you want that full uh, Pixel look. So with all those default apps selected, browser, calling, messages, and home screen, those are all the defaults that you would have on a Pixel device. The next thing you want to do is get the Gboard keyboard. So again, this is an APK that you don't need to sideload. It's actually in the Play Store. Just search for Gboard. It's the very first app that pops up. I've talked about it before. This is the keyboard that ships with the Pixel devices. And once you install it, you will need to accept some permissions. Then you can go in and actually customize your theme. If you're interested in more of a dark theme, which is what I'm running, you can actually choose this one. There are a bunch of different light themes to accommodate any sort of wallpaper setup you might have. Just to show you guys really quickly what it actually looks like, this is what the black, material black keyboard looks like from Gboard. So a very nice stock experience. I really like the typing experience that you get from Gboard. Of course, you can keep the Samsung keyboard if you want. This is just to get the maximum pixel effect. The next thing you can do is actually get a material theme from the Samsung theme store. And I talked about this one in my last video, so if you saw that, you already know about it. The one I'm using is Material Black. It serves your settings menu, your quick settings and your settings menu to completely black, as you guys can see right there. It's a really nice dark looking theme. If you just use the theme itself, 
you're going to get the quick settings and the full settings menu. If you want to add a little bit of extra flair, this Pixel Launcher does come with the ability to add a custom icon pack. So if you go to home screen settings here, you can change the icon pack. And I found a really nice Oreo HD icon pack that I want to show you guys. It looks really nice. The icons actually look better, in my opinion, than the ones that actually come with stock Android Oreo. You can see them right there. Very high resolution, nice material looking, rounded icons. I'd highly recommend the pack. It is $1.99 in the Play Store, but a lot of themed icons, and it really adds to the overall effect of this particular setup that I'm showing you guys today. Anyway, that is the Galaxy S9 Pixel theme with Material Dark. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification icon so I can make future videos like this. You guys can find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter. The link's in the description. You can also find me writing over at gadgethacks.com. Appreciate you guys checking it out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.